Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal Lesson. Today we are going to show you how to use OBS Studio. So right now, yeah, OBS, so OBS Studio and, and OBS Classic are free programs that you can use to record your screen. And many famous gamers have been uh, have used this program. It, this is the best uh, screen recording program out there because you can do change a lot of settings. You can stream with it, you can record with it, and all that stuff. And uh, but uh, this tutorial should help you actually get things set up for the first time using OBS Studio. I might do a tutorial on OBS Classic, which I'm using right now. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna actually start with this uh, from scratch. So I'm gonna just delete this. So you, so the first thing you might have to do is add your game, which you, um, to it, so that you can just capture your game first. So as you see here, I have my game here. So this is Minecraft. So I want all tab out of it. Uh, that's the best thing to do. And then just go to add, and then just uh, call the the, the the game name. Uh, it's gonna be Minecraft, and then add. Uh, <laughs> the, the, then go to add game capture, and just actually go to just call this whatever your name we want. This keyboard is not selling for some reason, and then just uncheck that, and then just select uh, the game. Which you, uh, for some reason a lot of problems are running. So um, so like yeah, this. Uh, I mean, say select whatever game you're gonna record. Is it, it, if, it, if it's League of Legends or Roblox, I don't know. But League of Legends, you have to switch between a lot of things. Right? Um, I don't know. Actually. So yeah, so just kind of just select the game and just press OK. Okay, uh, and you, yeah, just test it out. You, it's going to you can just uh, go into the game. You can start recording and just test your recording. And uh, as you, this is actually working. Um, so after you set your game, Rishi, you will want to change some of the settings because uh, um, yeah, so you might want to you need to change some of your settings. Right? To actually make this work out for you, so we're going to, need to go through both streaming and uh, recording settings because those are a little bit they, those are a little bit different and they have different dependencies. Right? So go to settings, and as you see here, this is like the start of everything. So the first thing is to go to ch to actually change your stream set. Because I mean, say so. I mean, say if you're going to stream, you're going to need to change some of these settings here. So, so, so I mean, say you could do stream to uh, normal stream services or custom stream server. Usually, everyone streams to the stream services. Right now, I have a YouTube. YouTube. I mean, but you can actually, but you need a stream key to actually stream to your service. So, is it Twitch, YouTube, gaming? Hitbox. I don't actually know a Hitbox, but I you know Twitch and YouTube, which too. So actually, to find your stream key, is uh, go to your web browser, and then search for by. So we're gonna start out with YouTube. Uh, we're gonna you do YouTube and Twitch. So you go to YouTube.com for YouTube. Uh, then um, go into Creator Studio, and I'm, after after that, then we're going to Creator Studio. Go to live streaming. So, and as you see, this is my stream. I didn't actually update the image yet. So, I didn't actually stream for a while. So, you need to actually go into here. So, the, it says here stream and stream, stream name, stream key, press reveal, and uh, it will uh, reveal for a few seconds. And never share this key because anyone can stream to your channel. It's like your password. So, yeah, <laughs> think about it, it like, as a password. But if you press reveal, you have to copy paste it into your program, which is, in my case, is OBS Studio. Yeah. <laughs> For Twitch is simple. I just select Twitch TV, Twitch, and then go to Twitch TV, and just wait, and then select your username here, and then go to um, dashboard, and then go to stream key, uh, and then press show key. It will show you key. Uh, uh, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to have to actually like go into it. You have to agree that you will not share it. Uh, that, that's what it's supposed to do. But you should you should never share your, this with anyone else. So it's like your password. Just, just think about it. Okay. So yeah, and then paste it in here. So uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so the, I mean, say now we're, we're going to change some of the bit uh, like more nitty gritty things like a big range stuff like that. So we don't keep it simple uh, because we want to. So. Uh, so for I mean say so actually so I mean so for streaming, um you need to to find out what video bitrate you should use. Um you need to check your internet bitrate. Just uh, um dial that back there, down big. My internet uh, and your uh, internet upload bitrate. To check that you need to go to a site called uh, speedtest.net. <laughs> Net. Go to that site and you can check all your information. 
there. And then check it up a bit, right? And then the dial that back, then down a bit. So uh, so this is 2500 um, kilobits per second or 2.5 megabits per second, right? I mean, see, because the, the game also needs some bit, right? And uh, yeah, the, I mean, I'm becoming a user of extremely small bit, right? Because, um, hey, I mean, say, um, instead you could just uh, go on my word for it. So uh, if you have a decent internet country that's like at least 15 megabits per second or like 10 megabits per second, something like that, the upload speed I'm talking about, not the download speed. The download speed is like, I could be way higher. So if you have uh, some, something like mine, I would come and use use t 2500 for 1080p or 2000 for 720p. Or you can use 2500 for 720p. You can get a good quality there. Um, and so I mean, say if you use something like 3500, um, that is an extreme high bit rate, and you're, it, it's going to lag out. Uh, for me, it did. Um, if you have a decent quality computer that could keep up with it and great inter internet connection, Apple speed, you can use this type of bit rate. When I try to use it, it lags out, so I don't recommend it for my graphics card seven because I use a GTX 960. So all the bit rate is just for the quality of the audio. You can put this as high. I think it is a guy that I can put as high, but still. Um, so the stream on, yeah, actually that's the limit. So, uh, yeah. So I mean, say if you're going to if you're going to record, you have to actually um, you you can use 320, but uh, yeah, th it's going to give you a warning. So uh, now this is the other stuff, which is some important stuff here, which so this is the recording pad, which is where you're going to where uh, OBS is going to record to. This is set to stay on stream, so you can just set this. So like for 5,000. I mean, say if you're going to stream, it's going to be recorded at the same time. So yeah, you can have you're going to have a backup version if YouTube just messes up a bit, or you have like multiple accidents. You had you had some technical difficulties, and you had to cut the stream out. So and then you can kind of put them together, editing. So yeah, you have a backup of it. So so you can use the big. So you, uh, if you're going to record, you might want to use something like five thousand or ten thousand. I use ten thousand. Um, just a note, uh, yeah, I actually keep forgetting I had a downscale use of something called handbrake. So if you have a very high bitrate and your program is just freezing for no reason, just use something like handbrake, you can just downscale it. <laughs> but uh, well, you should use something like 10,000. If you have a very good software, use something like 50,000. Right? Yeah, so so I, I'm going to see if you have 10,000. But if you're going to stream, use 25. Right? Uh, for the recording, uh, so uh, set to stay on stream, or you can just do indistinguishable quality, or uh, and then this will happen. Right? It's gonna use extra CPU uses, but my CPU is not very good, so I'm gonna use stay on stream because I don't really need indistinguishable quality and indistinguishable quality of large file size. Lots of quality is tremendously large file size. That's too much. Eh? <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit too much. But if you have like a, you have a two dual GTX 1080s. You should use the highest settings, that's for sure. With recording format, MP4 always, uh, and I really, yeah, you should, this is a little bit more like nitty gritty. Right? So, I mean, so recording format is, is going to be MP4. MOV is fine if you're going to use uh, uh, something like iMovie or iMovie to actually um, edit, but MP4 is the best because it's like the most supportive, and it, this is the internet, um, the, the internet. In the internet's uh, format, or right? oh, so I say. Uh, audio. This is something that's extremely important for me because it's not all of too many settings. Well, it's very simple actually. So you have to actually select your desktop audio device. So you can select your speakers. So I'm going to do that. Desktop audio device too. That's a second uh, like speaker or something. If you, uh, I, it's a very complicated setup. Well, not exactly complicated, but uh, do not take my word for it. But uh, anyway. Mic and auxiliary here uh, audio device. Um, so the so uh, so you can, so you can have multiples of these. In fact, you have two people talking in a different room. I think that's a room, and you have two mics and uh, somehow connected. So you're going to uh, so I have my my webcam uh, or my blue snowball. <laughs> so I'm gonna save it for my webcam for the video. Uh, all these uh, so yeah, you can press OK by now. But there's other stuff that okay. This this is the more important things. So if you're streaming or recording, whatever, um, you can actually downscale your resolution to twenty by seven twenty if you want to stream real estate as ten eighty or ten p. Um, so I I, I don't recommend. You, so that means that you can get very crisp quality while streaming. I I, I did that once, but I I want the ten p. So and then the web frame rate. This is also important. So if you I've been coming. You go with fifty nine point nine four because that's a standard. Uh, sixty is not actually a good idea. 
Uh, let me explain this is standard. So, VM1194 is fine. So, yeah. And yeah, just press OK. And everything is done. You set all your settings. Well, I mean, say, just do not go, go for my word for it for the settings. Like, for example, the video settings. Like, you, you can use 720p. Uh, if you uh, and then also you can use 30 frames a second that is going to reduce all the lag and yeah but that's going to be fine if you want to adjust the audio for example your desktop audio is a bit too loud you can just lower down the audio to the negatives so when you actually but when like uh, if you have very loud music you can lower down the music audio or you can just lower down the audio of the game if the uh, game has like very loud music if so, you, if you, you want to don't want a, a, your mouse pointer in the game, you, uh, a game you can just check it in settings, and then you can uh, uh, uncheck capture cursor, so that when you uh, play the game, your cursor is not captured. It is pretty useful if you, if you think about. It. Um. Uh, yeah. Also, so, okay. Also, just another on the encoder side, I use hardware NVIC. Uh, main reason is that I have an NVIDIA graphics card, and um, I really don't know exactly know about AMD because I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So yeah, but even um, so this is like a built-in encoder. This is going to make your footage more for better quality, and uh, yeah. So you should use a uh, hardware NVIC if you have a. NVIDIA graphics card. So I have an NVIDIA GTX 960. So I'm gonna just press OK. You can start recording now. But yeah, so this is a basic tutorial. I this is the most simplest tutorial. This is just stripped down to like just bare minimum that you need to actually everything set up. And this is like all my recommendations. Um, <laughs> Also, you can, if you want to test the desktop audio if it's working, just actually do this. Yeah, that's a, that's a trick. If you want to, you want to use. The, also, if you're going to use um, audio like from your desktop, you should wear headphones because uh, the speaker is going. Your mic is going to record your speakers. Uh, obviously, so yeah, this is uh, this is like just a, just a tutorial how to actually use OBS Studio. This is uh, Christian's lessons. So thank you for watching. This. Bye. I'm